الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمد عبد الرسول. In the following set of verses, Allah Azza wa Jal moves to talk about something different related to the period which mankind lives in this life. It's a reminder. It's a reminder of the favors of Allah Azza wa Jal upon mankind, which in themselves are evidence that Allah Azza wa Jal is the creator. Allah Azza wa Jal in these verses address uh, man's food, water, uh, and how he, the Almighty, facilitates them uh, for us as human beings. And it is, it is a call from Allah Azza wa Jal so that we ponder upon what's around us. When you see something after, after hearing these verses, we ought to look at everything around us and see how great Allah Azza wa Jal is by that creation. And sense that we are blessed that he subhanahu wa ta'ala provided us with it. Allah Azza wa Jal goes on to say, فَلْيَنظُرِ الْإِنسَانُ إِلَىٰ طَعَامِهِ Then let mankind look at his food. Now no one denies that food or types of food are things that are tangible and that we see. And this was the style Allah Azza wa Jal was using with the Quraysh. He was giving them, talking to them, proving to them through things that they see and they cannot deny. They deny Allah, they deny His ability, but they cannot deny what's tangible. فَلْيَنْظُرِ الْإِنسَانُ إِلَىٰ طَعَامِهِ Let him look at his food. This is one of the main things, the main necessities for humans to maintain life. Food and drink. Allah facilitated that. And Allah continued to facilitate it. It's not just one time. It's a continuous process. And an endless favor from Allah Azza wa Jalla. How we poured down water. Now, what's the relevance between ta'am and water? Allah Azza wa Jal is telling them that this water is a main factor of growth for your food. Allah Azza wa Jal is telling them that the story of your food begins with water. But where does water come from? It either comes down from the heavens as rain or gushes out as springs and rivers. All of which is in the hand of the Creator, who commanded it to either gush out or drop down. Now, modern science makes these verses more miraculous than the time of the Quraysh. When, when they start talking about the formation of clouds and how water is formed within and how it drops down, this is just amazing, it's astonishing. It tells you there is a, a great creator behind all of this. Then we broke open the earth, splitting it with sprouts. This is the second or the following uh, stage uh, in the life cycle of the plant. Allah Azza wa Jal uh, in these is addressing simple-minded people. There, were, there is no technology, nothing. It's just rain that comes down, but they see rain coming down and they see how the plant splits that earth and comes out of it after having been a seed. Or that the water splits the, water, the, 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 the soil and goes down, penetrates and goes down. 
How can any of this happen without the ability of Allah Azza wa without the command of Allah Azza wa How can any of that happen without a creator who is capable of making this happen, making this a reality? A reality that you cannot deny. A fact that you see with your own eyes, something that is tangible and you experience all the time in your lives. فَأَنْبَتْنَا فِيهَا حَبَّةً And caused to grow within it green. Then the result of the water and the splitting of, of the earth is different types of plantations. Right? Fruits, vegetables, greens. Allah here starts with the grains. All types of grains. And this is the third stage. Water, earth, and then the plant actually starts growing. And green is used here because that's a main food for people at that time at least. And for their animals as well. Then Allah Azza wa Jalla lists other types of food. وَعِنَبًا وَقَضْبًا And grapes and fodder for the animals and for human beings. وَزَيْتُونَ وَنَخْلَ And olive and palm trees. <coughs> Subhanallah, the scholar said, Allah Azza wa Jalla Name these four types in particular because of their known benefit and great usage by mankind. وَحَدَائِقَ غُلْبَ And gardens of dense, heavy trees. Trees in gardens that are surrounded by a fence to protect them. وَفَاكِهَةً وَأَبَّا And fruit and grass. Grass, some scholars said it's referring to anything that animals can eat. As enjoyment and provision for you and your grazing livestock. Subhanallah, one of the amazing things about food and how Allah Azza wa Jal named different types is that you see that in the same spot in the same in the same garden you have different types of fruitful trees or beneficial trees in the same soil right next to each other watered by the same source, rain or springs or rivers, right? But they're all different. Again, a sign, a tangible sign which cannot be denied that this is the work of a creator. Then Allah Azza wa Jal is reminding us that all of this is a bounty, is a favor from Him upon us so that we enjoy our lives. We go on. Life goes on for us and for our animals. This life story of the food of mankind and his animals is yet another evidence Allah gives for His ability to create and resurrect. It is a message saying, the one who brought from dead soil beneficial fruits and vegetations for you to live on and your animals and to sustain yourselves with, is able, as he created you from nothing, to, res to resurrect you again and hold you to account. Allah Azza wa uses this in many places in the Quran, given the similitude 
of his ability to create and resurrect after death with the growth of plants and fruits from non-existence. Uh, this concludes the set of verses Allah Azza wa Jal addresses uh, food or addresses Quraysh uh, with tan a tangible sign uh, to prove his ability to resurrect. Uh, and the final scene uh, will be in the following uh, session, insha'Allah. Uh, and with this we will conclude. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu